Hi everyone, my name is Kayu Hamalu and today I want to show you a game I've been working on called Tyrant's Twilight, a mix between tactics RPG and straight up action gameplay. You know how in turn-based RPGs like the old Final Fantasies you give a character a command and stop to watch them execute it? And then Super Mario RPG came along and said what if you had to press a button at the right time to deal more damage? And people kinda loved it? I've always wondered why nobody ever attempted to do something similar with a tactics RPG like Fire Emblem for example. Whenever the player tries to attack in that game there's a cutscene where we don't do anything except watch the command get executed. It seemed like adding that Mario RPG flair to these moments could be really cool, so I decided to make it. Tyrant's Twilight plays out like a regular tactics game with a bird's eye view of the terrain and the units that occupy each tile, but as soon as the player initiates an attack, the camera shifts to frame the attacking unit and the player assumes control over that unit's actions. So the Archer class, for example, was the first one I came up with because it was the easiest one to envision working like a traditional third-person shooter of sorts, with an over-the-shoulder camera and simple aiming and shooting controls. Then we add some timing elements to these mechanics, like a single arrow does one damage, but if the player releases it when it's fully charged, it does two damage. But since you can aim at different body parts, we should probably also add some weak spots that can be leveraged to deal up to 3 damage in a single shot, like hitting this guy in the head, or hitting this turtle in its tail. The Swordsman class is a staple of tactics RPGs set in medieval fantasy worlds, which Tyrant's Twilight very much is, so it was important to have a clear vision of what that kind of melee combat would look like in a game like this. I decided that the playstyle could be based on Metal Gear Rising's blade mode, where you have to decide the angle to swing the sword in. The objective is to avoid hitting the crystals, which have higher defenses and can bounce off your sword, while also timing a charge hit, just like the Archer class. I was trying to create a common language for how attacks would work. I have other classes prototyped here, like one that uses a hookshot, letting players pull enemies towards them or have them dash towards the enemy or other objects to cross gaps. A well-timed button press also deals more damage and that sort of stuff. You get the gist. I want to leave some surprises for later, so these are all the classes I'm showing in this video. Now one problem that immediately popped up was, if you watch any advanced playthroughs of Fire Emblem, you'll notice a lot of players turn off battle animations so they don't waste time getting to the meat of the game, which is its tactical elements. That's a big problem for a game where half the mechanics are about interacting during those battle animations. So I wasn't sure how I could bridge the gap between action and strategy. But then I figured, why not borrow more elements from traditional RPGs? Hear me out, you know how in the original Final Fantasy players attack, then enemies attack, then players attack, then enemies attack, and so on and so forth until the battle is done, and then in Final Fantasy IV they introduce the active time battle, where every unit has a stamina bar that fills up over time, and now the order of who gets to attack when is determined by that bar filling up. That's a change that made the later Final Fantasies a bit more dynamic, and so I thought, why not try something similar? So units in Tyrant's Twilight behave the exact same way. A stamina bar fills up over time and they can execute their actions when they have a full bar to spend. Well, now that means that multiple units can move at the same time, which can be a bit weird, but that also means that a player unit can dodge enemy attacks by simply moving out of the way, almost like it's an action game or something. Huh, maybe we're onto something. Why not take it a step further then? Let's add some bullet time dodge rolling to the mix. If you move just as an attack is about to land, you get this cool animation sequence and a bit of your stamina back, letting you counter attack quicker. So you can see how we start with a traditional tactics RPG framework, but slowly push the game towards more action elements to create this hybrid monstrosity that hopefully turns into a fun game to play after we're done. As for the story, Alana, the archer, is our main character. The game begins as she's wounded and trying to escape a lost battle where her brother was killed. Well, that's already a bummer for her, but even worse, her brother was the chosen hero prophesied to save the world and all of that. So that's a double bummer. 
The game is about humanity placing their faith on this hero that fails and now they have to regroup and reorganize and figure out how to deal with a corrupting darkness that threatens to consume everything. There will be 8 playable characters, each one with its own attack style and its own personality. I want this to be a very character focused story, so if you're into that kind of game, I'm hoping you fall in love with this cast. There are many more things to talk about, like the game's magic system, progression system, and even its giant bosses. But I'll leave it at that for now. If any of this piques your interest, be sure to wishlist the game on Steam and subscribe to this channel to get all the latest updates on the development. One final thing, if you're a fan of the channel for its game analysis, there's no need to be afraid that these devlogs will be all the content going forward. I have a 4 hour plus video commentary on Metroid Prime plan for late April, early May. I've already captured all the footage, the script is also done, it's 65 pages long, so all that's left is audio recording and editing. If that sounds interesting, don't give up on the channel just yet, there's plenty of content on the way. With that, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.